Hello, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use uh, Quick Mask uh, within Photoshop CS6. So I have an image here and I basically want to have a selection uh, of the apple here. So before I get started, actually let me duplicate this layer. You can do that by uh, Control J. If you click on the layer, Control J, you have that new layer. Okay, actually let me hide that layer. So, say I want to select the apple, so let's uh, go ahead and use the quick selection tool and select the apple, okay? So now to access the quick uh, mask, you can either uh, press Q, and press Q to go back uh, to our uh, regular view here. There's, uh, you can also, ha you also have the icon here available to you to edit uh, in quick mask mode. And it actually says the Q is the quickie for it. So when we are in quick mask, you see that everything turns red. Uh, so basically whatever is red is going, it's not being selected. So you see that I select the apple. So, so the apple is within our selection as you can see here. So say I want to add more to the selection uh, within the quick mask, uh, main uh, mode here. So the way of doing that is if you select a brush, so I'll click here for the brush, and we can use a, let's use a really hard brush like this one. Now uh, to change the size of the brush you can either use your bracket keys uh, in the keyboard or you can hold on alt right mouse click can you change the size? So if we paint, uh, I'm painting with white. Make sure you're using white and black. That's uh, so that you have a better selection, uh, not nothing transparent here. So I'm selecting this. So if I press Q now, you can see that I have selected that area. So basically, a uh, uh, quick mask allows for you to use a paintbrush and a uh, if you were using a pen and tablet, uh, this would be uh, easier to make uh, more precise selections. So if we if we paint with black, uh, we can either uh, click here, or you can also press X. You see how it changes uh, between white and black, X. See how it's abstracted. Now X to paint with white, and we're adding to our selection. So say I'm happy with my selection here, and press Q to go back here. So now that I have that selection, say I want to apply a mask to this layer. So the way of doing that is uh, clicking here, it says add a layer mask. So click on it, and you see that everything else disappears. Now what happened there was uh, uh, everything else was not erased. Uh, it just it was hidden. Uh, it was hidden so that so the mask is hidden all that area. And it's only showing us the apple. Okay, and you can see here we have the the mask uh, is this and this is our layer. So if we wanted to continue to add to uh, the mask there, we can continue to use our brush, and by using black or white. We can uh, this uh, add more to the mask. Uh, I mean, subtract more from the mask, or press X. We can add a bit more. You can see that we're showing more of the of the image. We're not erasing, or we're not deleting anything, or adding. What we're doing is, uh, well, we are, but in the mask, not to the actual layer. So this is how it looks. If you press Shift and the mask icon here. So that it shows you how the layer looks. Or if you press Alt in the uh, mask layer, you can see the the actual mask and what is showing. Whatever is white is what is showing us. What is black is not showing us. So that's really a basic, uh, the basics of creating masks within Photoshop basically by creating a mask here.
and again you can continue to add more to to what is visible and what is not visible even after you created the select the first initial selection you continue to work in the mask make sure you're working in the mask icon because sometimes if you're working here you're actually going to be painting on the actual layer so you don't want to do that you want to make sure you click on the mask itself okay so that's uh, the basics of uh, how to go about uh, creating masks and masking some of the things uh, first by using uh, the quick mask and actually creating a mask here